gentleman. I don't know if whether I'm in the picture is not really important. Um, you've uh, what you've done today, I think, is uh, two of the, of the the kind of most um, stimulating, inspiring presentations that that we've seen over even the several years that we've we've had the conference over the last four years. Um, can you just we're doing a little clip now that we're going to put on on the website, and could you just explain uh, who you are and a little bit about what your your uh, work is about? and maybe anything else that you think it might be important for people who might be watching this clip to understand about working with men's mental health and veterans. Uh, who would like to start? Yeah. Hi, I'm Roger Kingley, a clinical psychologist um, working uh, in Norfolk, Norfolk and Suffolk NHS uh, Foundation Trust. And um, I guess um, from my perspective, um, our work is, is, is really about uh, helping uh, bring down the barriers for, for, for veterans uh, coming into psychological health care uh, and, to, and to work with them uh, effectively. And uh, we've been doing that in, in particular ways. We've been doing it jointly um, between the NHS and our friends and partners in the Walnut Tree Project. And, and Luke here might want to say a little bit more about how those barriers have been broken down, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, working in partnership allows us to bring our lived experience, uh, being a veteran myself, with lived experience of, 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 of mental health. It's about helping other veterans engage in, in that clinical treatment. So not only helping design the treatment with, with the trust so, so that they can target it correctly at veterans, but um, being, being a point at which veterans can trust and, um, and, and then help with the, with the engagement through peer support. Well, I would, I'm Marv Westwood, and uh, like Roger, my training is in counseling psychology. But what I realize being here today, it's more like uh, hearing their presentation and knowing what we do. It's almost like we're on the same page. It's very uh, reaffirming and strengthening for us to come to this part of the world to see and be reinforced for let's go for it. When I say go for it, is begin to see masculinity as cultures. And uh, the, the culture of male masculinity in the military has a lot of strengths for recovery. And so what you really do is expand out. You use those skills they already bring to treatment and just refocus those skills of strength and, and working to get back to, and as uh, Luke said, not only back to where you were, but stronger even than where you were. So it's advancing, and that term would be very important, active engagement, advancing the team, and uh, not having any shame reference, but a sense of accomplishment and pride as I saw in your presentation, it's the same with our guys. So I don't think it gets any better than, because veterans helping veterans with people like yourself, paraprofessional, us, we are clinic, clinical people and we're being learned, uh, we have been learning from you and your culture, so we feel more informed. Can I just ask, uh, how much would you say, yes, how much would you, would you say that what you do in your work with veterans translates to the average male patient or even the average man who's reluctant to become a patient? I think there are a huge amount of commonalities there. I think uh, we already uh, see some similar patterns, the way in which people have engaged, guys have engaged with calm in the UK, I think, via social media. I think there are some, some, some huge um, commonalities. Uh, and I think also one of the interesting things that we'll probably see in both populations, civilians and veterans, is, 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 is men helping each other. And I think we see that in the UK with the VSP. And I think Marv sees that as well, where guys are, uh, are veterans is going from a position of relative isolation pre-treatment to actually inclusion and sense of, of being together post-treatment and that's such an important part of the process. Yeah, I think that's very true. And I think it was um, Albert Schweizer who said, sometimes our light goes out and is once again blown into flame by our encounter with another. And I think that's the important thing to remember, that actually through working with clinical specialists alongside peer support, you can really increase engagement. And that's really important with men, giving them something to trust, having uh, services in which aren't just about sitting around and talking, but about problem solving, giving them something you know, to, to, to really challenge them and something tangible tangible they can get hold of um, to link in with their thought processes you know there is a lot of the sort of problem solving you know part of the brain to 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 deal with emotions so actually you know it's it's not always that helpful just to sit there and talk but actually do and um, and I think that's where you know these combinations of lived experience along clinical expertise going side by side really makes a difference. I was just going to say don't forget the warrior or the soldier is an archetype in society and most young males 
will see the soldier, even if it's from childhood stories, as something to emulate, that there is respect for the warrior. Second, what we've done in answer to your question, we've taken like hockey players in our country, and it's your case, football, is they are an, also an archetype. Now, we think that the veterans have led the way in Canada of showing all males, whether they're working in business or the trades, that they will come to our performances and watch the show and say, well, if they can do it, and these are typical guys, we can do it too. We can go ask for help because, look, they're awesome. So we use them as models. So the military has actually taken the lead in showing the good parts in the recovery of what it means to be an honorable man, a competent man, and that applies to most men want to be that. What we add is that, as you saw in the film clip, he wants to be strong and loving. Strong and loving. Does it get any better? I don't think so. Fantastic. Uh, I think that you guys, what you're doing is a fantastic model to psychologists. Everybody should be taking into account what you're doing. Uh, thanks so much once again for coming to the conference and sharing your work, which is inspirational, I, I sincerely think, with everybody here. Thank you. Thanks for bringing us